This week's Moore's Millions will kick off day three. Oh, slightly smaller field than we usually get for this. For these Moore's Millions races in this first one. It's quite short this week. That's why three miles, two furlongs. That's pretty much the borderline of how short you can get for a Moore's Million qualifier. We've got the top subcontract for Craig Beckwith in. John Morgan's got two. Run for free and Biddeford Legend Rampant. Line for Alex Cherry. Poles Hay for James Shea. Ozark Largo, Vinny Gerard, Marletri and Slane. Thomas Rogers. Let's Hope. David Hooley. Cirque Martin Leader and Tim Oka Shoe for James Shea. So 10 in this and away they go. And the John Morgan pair look like they're going to go off and dispute the lead early, although Minetri and Slane looks like it's got an interest in the lead as well. First one's Addiction, they're all safely over it, with Biddeford Legend just the leader on the outside. One for free on the inside, and between the two Minetri and Slane, with Paul's Hay in fourth. They are very tightly grouped at this point. One for three has now come through to just about show the leader. So one for three on the outside is in front. Right, Marletri and Slane in second as they get to the second, and they're all safely over that one. And now Biddyford Legend jump back into the lead again. So these two John Morgan horses look like they're going to play cat and mouse with each other at this point in the race. If Marletri and Slane settle in third, Paul's hay on that one's inside is fourth as they get to the third, which they're all safely over. Rampant Lion just towards the back of the field in the Alex Cherry colours with the orange sleeves but it's the John Morgan pair that continue to lead and as they get over the next that was the fourth and run for free it is in front by about two lengths to stable companion Biddeford Legend on the inside on the rail then Meletri and Slane is third just about showing fourth is Ozark Largo and then uh, subcontract on the inside of that one between the two of them poles hey let's hope in the purple jacket he's on the inside Timoka Shu another one in green He's next and then wide on the track. He's rampant line with those orange sleeves and finally Cirque at the back in the red rum colours as they get over that one. Mistake by Tomoka Shu has seen that one just drop to the back of the pack. At this point in the race and run for free. He's doing just that at the moment, running free in the lead and gets over that big ditch as they all get over it nicely. Biddyford Legend now five lengths down in second. Electri and Slane third, and then Paul's Hay, the rampant line getting a lot closer, also Cirque around the outside getting closer as well, a long way to go yet, and then not even into the final two miles yet, and it's a run for free, leading by five or six lengths to Biddeford Legend second, rampant line is moving to third, Electri and Slane and Paul's Hay together, and the rest of them just about in a line as they take the next they all get over okay, not such a clever jump by Maletri and Slane, seeing that one just lose a couple of lengths. But they're all pretty closely grouped with the exception of this leader as they come up past the big screen. They'll pass the winning post shortly and then they'll swing right handed for a complete circuit off the track and run for free. We'll be hoping to be in the lead next time around. So it's run for free in the lead then. Paul Hayes now second. Rampant line is third and then comes Tim Okashu four. Bit of a little just being given a bit of a breather as drop back next. Then comes Subcontract and Cirque as they take the one that takes them away from the stands. And now they swing out onto the back straight and it's run for free. Who leads? By well, a good two and a half lengths to Paul Hay in second. Rampant line in the orange sleeves is third on the outside of that one to Mocha Shoes recorded from that early mistake. Then comes Subcontract as they get over the next. And Biddeford Legend again a little bit slow. That one just being given the hurry up by the jockey. And the purple jacketed jockey on Let's Hope had a little look behind, see if there was anything behind him. And I found out that there wasn't. He's the current back marker. And they get over this next one. Which they all get over nicely. Run for free. Two lengths clear of Paul Tay second. Subcontract is now third, Rampant Line four. Biddeford Legend now coming back into it again. Then Timoka Shu and Cirque. And uh, let's hope on Ozark Largo as they get over that next one. With Maletri and Slane again a little bit slow. The jockey just trying to push that one forward to get back into that leading group. But it's run for free. Leads by two as they come towards the next. With Poles Hay a clear second, Biddeford Legend is now gone third, subcontract fourth and then 
Military and Slain getting back into it again. Rampant line just dropped back then to Mocha Shu and Cirque as they get to that next one. Cirque wallop that one is now the back marker. And it's the Morgan pair that are one two again. Run for free and Biddyford Legend. Poles Hay coming back into second there now on the inside. They're inside the final mile now. Military and Slain's also getting close up. Subcontract is still there as they go. Oh, and a leader went right through that one. Run for free. It was his first mistake, and Biddyford Legend has now been left in the lead. But Run for Free is quickly reasserted on the inside to try and get back in front over the next one. Better jump this time. They already didn't all get over that one because Ozark Largo's gone out the back. And it's Biddyford Legend from Run for Free. Then comes Poles Hay. Then Military and Slain. Then comes Subcontract. Let's hope and Rampant Line. Gap back to Timo. Kashu and Cirque. They've got three more fences to take. And it's Run for Free in the lead. Biddyford Legend is second. Poles Hay's third. Let's hope looks a big danger. Been sitting out in the back most of the time. Rampant line is coming through with the run that's been running in some big races over the last few years over that one they go that was a third from home and it's run for free who's gone for home run for free from let's hope in second poles hayes third rampant line making ground up the center of the track bit of a legend and subcontractor next but it's run for free back in the lead again over the second last the final ditch gets over it nicely let's hope didn't jump it very well rampant lines running on again in third it's run for free four clear coming down towards the final fence then there still got three furlongs to race though and it's run for free in the lead from Let's Hope and Rampant Line in second. Then comes Biniford Legend and Pulse Aim. Electrian Slane's trying to run on to Mocha Shoes been pulled up by the back, but it's Run for Free. Run for Free, still four clear. Coming down towards the final fence. Run for free from Let's Hope in second. Rampant line is third. Biddeford Legends back and forth over the last goes. Run for free. Gets over it nicely. Gets away from it well. He's still got a furlong to go. But they're not going to catch him. Let's Hope is trying. Cirque's been pulled up at the back. But Run for free is still two lengths clear. Three lengths clear. Racing up towards the line. And Run for free is going to take it. Run for free wins it from Let's Hope in second. Rampant line is third. Fourth was Biddeford Legend in Paul's home. Electrian slain and finally subcontract with the other three faggling to get round and run for free takes it and John Morgan will probably be thinking I had two runners and neither of them fell that's probably the first time that's happened for a while and run for free the favourite takes it from um, let's hope second and rampant line third it's going to fall this then the connections it's run for free the winner for John Morgan, let's hope David Hooley second, Rampant Line for Alex Cherry third, Biddeford Legend John Morgan fourth, and Paul's Hay for James Shea was fifth.